Hello guys, welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. So recently Google has published this uh, adversarial misuse of generative AI article. This article is on their blog and uh, in that they have mentioned like how much uh, uh, attacks uh, people can do on the uh, AI models. So this is about their Gemini model and uh, they have written about how uh, different countries are misusing that. So there are different ways, certain ways that you can attack on the artificial intelligence model and uh, you can use it in the different way or you can mock it or uh, you can harm the uh, result, you can produce results that can be harmful using that. So that is called advisorial misuse. So today in this video we will talk about this. So uh, right now I just uh, went through this so I have uh, got the code and in this code uh, this is the uh, image uh, recognition code. So based on the image it will recognize like if it is a uh, animal or not like which animal it is. So right now I have given the link for this panda and uh, when we run it so this is the model we have and uh, I am just uh, downloading this image now and I am producing the result so this is the prediction result so I am predicting it and now this original prediction is giant panda so it has produced like this is a giant panda so let's try with lion so I am just uh, copying image URL and uh, replacing it and I'm seeing it line and again running it and uh, so it has predicted this lion so this is correct now we can certain way there we can mock this one and uh, it can produce different results so I will show the demo uh, let's go through the slide like uh, what is adversarial attack and why should we learn this. So adversarial attacks in AI is a, uh, so in this uh, uh, video we will talk about the guide for the testers like why it is very useful for tester and why testers should know this. So how AI can be hacked and how to prevent it. So this is a panda image and if you change the pixels of that image it may uh, uh, recognize it as it is a different animal. So this is what adversarial attack is. You can morph some, something that can uh, produce a different result than expected. So what is an adversarial attack? So AI model can be pulled by tiny impossible changes in input data. So these changes do not affect human perception but AI makes wrong prediction. So sometimes what happens like uh, in human side we can recognize image like panda is panda only even though some pixel got uh, left or right right so it doesn't affect us but for AI model it can affect so for example a self-driving car misreads a stop sign as a speed limit sign due to adversarial noise so for example this is stop sign that, that is original and uh, AI can recognize it as a stop but when you change the pixels of that uh, maybe AI uh, uh, recognize it as a different sign and it can cause the accident for self-driving uh, car so this is one of the way like you can pull the AI. So let's talk about the real world impact of adversarial attacks like. So in self-driving cars that what we told like stop signs, misread the speed limits, uh, facial recognition. So attacks bypass security. So sometimes what happens is like uh, 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 for facial uh, right uh, sometimes they change uh, some pixels of noise or eyes and it can be treated as different human. So for example, uh, I can open my face using uh, like, I can recognize my face using AI as uh, my name, but like uh, someone else try to predict, uh, because try to be as me, like they change their pixel of their own image and uh, it can hack such a way that it can become uh, another person. So AI can't recognize it. And healthcare AI, so wrong diagnosis based on the modified scan. So if scan got modified, right? it can uh, give wrong results and for financial AI like fraudster AI based fraud detections. So any of the AI model that is uh, uh, become for good reasons so hackers can use it it is a uh, like a different way and it can uh, harm the uh, results and it impact the real world. So 
uh, let's go through the demo like that what we were talking so we were get the lion for the lion image now what i am trying is like here i am changing the noise i am adding some noise like 0.1 percent noise i am adding in the image and once this noise is added so i am running it now noise is get added and now i am trying to predict like what is it so once noise is added see it has given different result like this is like bone days something different animal that i also don't recognize so now like if we try to add more noise or something right then it can give more different results so for example here i am giving it is 20 percent and now I am trying to run it. So it gave it as peacock. So uh, there is no way peacock. But uh, yeah, this is where you can uh, put the adversarial attack on the AI. This is a simple uh, prompt, like simple AI tool we have and we are trying to pull it. So this is not easy for like uh, currently whatever tools we are using. But still there are certain ways like uh, attackers keeps on attacking on them. So live demo we have seen and uh, it becomes change. Now how to defend against adversary latex. So <coughs> first thing is like uh, define the strategies, adversarial training. So teach AI to detect manipulated inputs. So inputs is not image only, right? Sometimes uh, prompts are there. So prompts, uh, they try to read, uh, write such a way that uh, AI can, the results the AI is producing is harmful. So for example, uh, two rival countries are there. One country is using AI model of different country to get the uh, data of their uh, uh, machineries or uh, the data of their intelligence, data of their militaries. So that can be harmful and that is also kind of uh, manipulating AI using the different types of prompts. Processing methods like remove noise before AI makes a decision. So sometimes uh, what happens is uh, the noise we have added, right? So whenever you are doing, do the pre-processing, pre like be, before taking the results, do some pre-processing and remove all the noise that are going to be added. And a robust architecture, use more secure AI models. That is like you, you always need to do more security for the AI models. And you, human oversight, that is very important. Combine AI with manual verification for a critical system. So manual verification is still needed uh, over the time. So tools are adv for adversarial testing. So these are the tools currently available. So AIF 360 already we have talked in the previous video for fairness testing. So here also it is useful and uh, I will make a separate video for this like uh, how this tool works and uh, how it will be helpful for us. So these are the tools currently uh, there available to for this adversarial testing. So what are the key takeaways? So first of all, AI can be hacked with small invisible changes. So even though you change one pixel, it can be hacked. Also, like sometimes what people are trying to do is uh, they put uh, different algorithm as a prompt and AI is completely gives a different result. So those kind of things also possible. And advisorial attacks have real world consequences that we already have seen. Software testers play a key role in AI security. So here like software tester job start and whenever you get chance to test the AI models, right? This is the one of the thing you need to test so that like it won't uh, won't be hacked and uh, it will be more secure. Learning adversarial testing gives you an edge in AI QA. So if you are learning this, it will give you the edge over the different uh, other QAs that are not learning this. So in 2025 onwards, like you may get chance to test the AI models and if you want to switch the job, knowing like how to test AI model is very important. So please subscribe this video and uh, I will keep producing this kind of uh, videos. I am also in learning phase for this and uh, right now I am testing AI models. So this is very easy to, for me to go through the, these things that are coming into market. So please subscribe it and watch till the end videos. So call to action, yeah, please subscribe it and thank you for watching the video. Social media links I have given the in the description so you can uh, follow there. There I keep on sharing funny memes around this so you will enjoy this and uh, yeah please subscribe and share it to your friends. Thank you.